this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install a Shape 5 Site Shaper in Joomla 3.0. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your template has been updated and is compatible with Joomla 3.0. To do this, simply navigate to our compatibility list by clicking on the tab on the right hand side of our website. Once here, you can navigate down the list and see all our templates and extensions that have been updated to Joomla 3.0. Once you have verified that your template is Joomla 3.0 compatible, navigate to the downloads page and download the Site Shaper current version of your template. Once your download is complete, navigate to your cPanel file manager. From here, you can upload and extract your Site Shaper files to your public HTML or a subfolder on your website. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be installing the Site Shaper files in a subfolder called Traction. To create a subfolder, select New Folder and enter the new folder name. Once created, navigate down, double click, then select Upload. Now, find the Site Shaper files you downloaded earlier, double click, and it will start uploading the Site Shaper files. Once your download is complete, Navigate back to the folder where you installed the files and extract them. Once your files have been extracted, delete the original containing folder of the Site Shaper files. Now it's time to create a new database for your website. To do this, navigate to your control panel and select My SQL Databases. From here, create the new database name and then select Create Database. Once the database has been created, navigate down and add your admin user to the database. Give this user all privileges. After installing the Site Shaper files and creating a new database, it's time to go through the Joomla web installer process. To access the Joomla web installer, simply type in the name of your domain and in my case the subfolder that you installed the Site Shaper files to, which was Traction. Now the Joomla web installer will load. The first thing you need to enter is your site name. In this case, it'll be Traction. Then enter a brief description of your website. Enter an admin email. admin username, and then an admin password. If you would like your site to be offline by default, select yes, otherwise click no, then hit next. Now it's time to enter the database credentials that you created earlier. The first thing you need to select is your database type, and then your host name. The host name is usually localhost, but if yours is different, contact your host for more information. The next thing you need to enter is your username, in this case mnickel underscore admin. Then enter your database password and your database name, in this case the database that we created was called Traction. Once that is done, select next. On page 3, you will see an overview of all the information you entered on the previous steps of the Joomla web installer. If you would like to be emailed your configuration, simply click yes on the overview and it will email you all the information that you used to set this up. The last step you need to do is simply click install. The first thing it will do is back up all your old database tables, then it will create your database tables, then it will install the shape 5 sample data and create the configuration file. The last step you need to do is remove the installation folder. Once this is done, your installation of the Site Shaper is complete. If you would like to navigate to the back end, click Administrator, and if you would like to navigate to the front end of your site, simply click Site. You can now see that the Traction template has been fully installed with the sample data and is ready to be used on your website. If you have any further questions, create a post on our forums and one of our administrators will be happy to assist you.